What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Game of Duty Hero, and you back to Persona 4 Golden. Uh, last episode, we kind of took care of a lot of stuff. We did a lot more than a lot of people, I'm sure, anticipated. Right now, we got to check the Midnight Channel because we get to be happy of the fact that nothing bad is going to happen, which is great. We love it. We stand it. And yeah, let's keep let's keep this going. It's midnight. Fog is set in. And we did good. You wonder what happened if Mitsu Kabu after the police took him away. Yeah, I mean, I wonder what happened to Mitsu as well, but, like, he deserved any bit of trouble he got into. Uh, wait, what? Fog is covering town, but nothing nothing bad seemed to happen. It just was fog. So it's Saturday, so we're going to go ahead and hang out with Temperance today. Well, ooh. Yeah, no, we're hanging out with Temperance today. Airy. So, I mean, it was kind of good that I messed up. I guess. Um, oh, but that means we can... The Sayoko thing actually hurt more than... We thought it would. Because, see, we couldn't hang out with Sayoko because of the Midnight Channel. Because it was Friday. I need to pay attention to the dates. I mean, luckily I did hang out with say, Sayoko the one time that I could that week. But, uh... Wow, it's built. Man, it's tearing me up. Making plastic bottles takes a lot of time, huh? They spend... The time you spend makes the love for your creation even deeper. I must be getting old. I was recalling these days I spent tolling away at the plastic models. It was fun, but it's all in the past now. Thank you for giving me a final glimpse of this joy. Make You make me realize this phase of my life has passed. Starting tomorrow night, I'm going to start sorting through the remaining models of my store. Oh, yes. Oh, I need to give my thanks to the shrine, too. I feel like as if I had a new reason to live now. The man says, smiling. You accomplished the written on the Irma. You should report back to the fox. Oh, yeah. You should have this, too. I have a fond memory about making this model. Once you finish that one, I won't. Won't you come to show me? I'll be at my shop. If you don't mind putting them together, I'll give you them one after another. You obtained another unfinished model. You can use the table in your room to build this model. I'm not going to do that. I have two. Uh, I'll do that. I guess I, I say I'm not going to do that. But like if I, once I, if I, if I ever slash it won't happen, but if my stats max out, then, then, then that's a different story, but it is Saturday. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hang out with, uh, Yuta's mother today. Because this gives us understanding, and we need that. Huh? You, Kuhn? You don't know? Phoenix Ranger Featherman R? You suck. I dare you to say that again. You, Kuhn, is going to get us around everyone. Yuju chases his friends as his face turns red. Once again, the children tug you in all directions. Your understanding has increased. You, Kuhn, let's go home. It's getting late. Aiko, we're going home. When is he coming back? Huh? Hmm? You mean your father? Uh, I don't know yet. I'm going home with Ryukun. Aww. Hmm. I guess he wants to see his father. Probably. I mean... I mean, even if he goes home, he'll be alone with me, right? <laughs> I'm just a stranger who barged into his life six months ago, so I feel a bit sorry for him. Harry smiles wryly. My husband kind of set me up. He only told me he had a child right before we got married, but I thought he was the one for me, so I figured the three of us would be able to work it all out. Then, right after we got married, he went to China on business. He keeps in contact with me, but he doesn't change the fact that he's not here. Uh, he's so inconsiderate. Honestly, they can be. D 
do you love your husband? Huh? huh? I, I don't know that. When I married him, I thought he was the one, but I'm not sure he is anymore. Even so, there's no, not, that's not a, no re there's, that's no reason to get a divorce, right? Aries is emotionally detached from the situation. Maybe I rushed into marriage quickly, but when he told me I wouldn't have to work, I thought it'd be a good idea, but... Oh, don't tell my husband, okay? Oh, I won't. Aerie is smiling, but you can't tell if it's genuine. You feel like you understand Aerie a little bit more. Rank 3 on Aerie. Your power to create Temperance Arcana has grown. I wonder if Yuta is home by now. I better get going, too. Yep, you should probably get nice going. It was nice seeing you, too. We got 6,000 yen for our daycare job. Woo! Evening time. Oh, there's more going on. Wow, what a great spread. I've never seen so many pieces of fatty tuna. Well, if you're gonna have a celebration, you can't do it halfway. Celebration? Ah, it's about this. Watch. I didn't care who it was. I was pissed off. I wanted to be famous. The suspect was often heard saying these things. The young suspect has confessed to being the culprit behind the recent cases, but he's shown no remorse so far. Because of several inconsistencies in the boy's deposition, some have called for a mental examination to be carried out. Until then, the police will be continuing their investigation to shed light on all the prior incidents. It was actually really tough to make a case out of this. All we had was the suspect's confession and some circumstantial evidence. But the lab found the perp's prints on the victim's clothes, so we made it stick after all. Man, isn't crime scene investigation something? Who would have thought you could get Bible prints from cloth? There's no more scary stuff to worry about. You're safe now. Does that mean Dojo was going to be home more? Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so happy. Uh, we love it. <laughs> Thing we caught him. Now I can stop seeing suspects in every shadow. If the killer was still on the loose. Enough, Adachi. If you keep running your mouth, the sushi's gonna dry up. <laughs> oh, you're right. Sorry. Come on, everyone. Eat up. Now, since you ask. Getting my chapstick on. You don't like sushi, Nanako-chan? Oh, I love sushi. Why don't you like it? There's wasabi in it. Oh, so it's the spicy. That makes sense. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I understand because I don't really like the wasabi either. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell them to hold the wasabi. Here, I'll take it off for you. Which one do you want? How about? Oh, you mean the expensive one? Okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, but expensive. As for me, I'll go for sea urchin. Hey, there's only one of those. And that's for me. Too late. First come, first serve. <laughs> Poor Dojima. He really wanted that one. If only I saw notes on all of them so that I knew I was okay, but nope, that's not how that works. Okay, Sunday. You know who we're going to see. Summer festival will begin soon. Hey, it's me, Che. I ran with Yosuke at Jun. I ran into Yosuke at Junus. He said he really wants to. He was in a bind because he didn't have enough employees working at Junus. He probably is going to come to you and beg for you to rescue him. He's been all. You gotta save me from this chaos, Hagrid. I kind of feel sorry for him, so I'm gonna help him out this week. You're welcome to do what Hagrid and Chie hung up. You maybe you should help out to Junus too. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the channel today. Talk, uh, we have a wooden bat. And longevity pills. Or rice and purifying water.
We'll give the rice combo. I don't really see the bat being needed. Watch the bat actually be super important. But it's a wooden bat, so... I'll take it. Oh, no, 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 no. Do I hear our... Let's get our vegetables going. I almost forgot our vegetables, Nanako. We got our eggplants. Let's get some wheat. Wheat's extremely important. It's it ask, acts like chest or check chest keys. No, I'm gonna go to the, as much as they say I can help out at work, Junus. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not. I'm going to the floodplain. We're gonna go see if. Uh, I'm not saving Yosuke. But it said this week, so I'm hoping that that's what. But still, the more I look at you, the more you remind me of him. His nose was just a little lower than yours, and his eyes a bit smaller, and his hair was shorter. <laughs> he was a handsome man. Who are you talking about? <laughs> My husband, silly. He was a kind man, quite an attractive one, too. Hisano smiles nostalgically. My husband passed away recently. Do I look like death to you? No, no you don't. I see. You mustn't become death. Isaro smiles sadly. You feel like you brushed against a heavy weight that Hisano has buried. When I'm with you, I feel like he has forgiven me. Can that possibly be true, though? After all, I'm the one who... <gasps> you did not murder your husband. That is not what we're insinuating. No. No, that is not what we're insinuating here. That is not. <laughs> that cannot be. Oh, my God. Dutch was home. Yes, we can hang out with... Oh. Getting the job done while taking care of Nanako too, huh? Oh, can we? I need to act like an uncle every so often and give you some spending money. Don't spend it all in one place. Nah, you can use it however you like. You got 20,000 yen from Dojima. Hey. What's wrong, you bored? Since you have Floros, a personality of the higher friend persona, Arcana, or Arcana, you two might get along well. You won't become closer yet, but it's Dojima, so we're spending time with Dojima. <laughs> That's that's literally it. It's Dojima, so I don't care. And next time we hang out with Dojima, we will level up with him, so that's good. Poor Nanako is kind of getting left in the dust because her requirement's super high. Summer break continues. Chie, can we go watch the movie? Sorry for dropping this on you, but all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work at Junus today till Friday? No. I'll buy you lunch every day you work, too. I promise. I'm begging you. Yosuke seems desperate. Sure. Frick it. This seems like a dumb idea, but whatever. You decided to work until June is till Friday. I feel like I fudged, but whatever. There's so many people just for the hero show. This is so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if you weren't for you, you weren't here, Hagrid. Welcome. We got shaved ice here with your favorite flavors. Cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of the frosty shaved mm. ice. Ah, oh, it's so hot today. Teddy Key is keeping good pace. You help Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. You become closer with everyone. 
Oh, good news. All of us girls have our license scooters now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but they're a little more practice and we'll be good to go. Though, we need to finish helping out here first. Let's pick up the play. Look at, let's pick up the pace. You worked hard at Junos. I should have told him no. Oh my god, we skipped so many days. Ah, I should have told him no. Man, Teddy is really dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting in this short sleeve shirt, and he's wearing a huge costume, and he's standing in front of the griddle. How does he do it? You helped Yosuke? Oh, God. Your relation you feel your relationship is going to become closer to Yosuke soon, and Chie soon. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, no. Okay, well, 40,000 yen is a lot of money. But I don't think that was worth four days of socialing dropping. Ugh. Welcome back. That's so many days that we missed out on. Uh, uh, and we can't even talk to Sioko about it. Oh, so nice. Oh, oh my god, I messed up hard. Oh, I made a mistake. Ugh. That was not worth 40,000 yen. Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Possibly. Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. I haven't seen the reporters around either. They sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Huh. It ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some Mikiyaki. Yes, that is important. Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or... Whoa! Isn't that them? Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. I see that. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as breezy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. <laughs> Poor Nanako. You look cute in it, though. Sean, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. And he stepped over the line. <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, Sentai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? That's a backhanded compliment. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a backhanded compliment. That's such a backhanded compliment, and I hate it. Like... Oh my god, Chia, you actually look sexy. Like, that's, like, literally just, like, you don't look sexy at all, normally. But, like, you actually look really good here. It's like, no, that's not good. Honestly. I hate that I have this, this like, choice situation. I decline to answer. 
<laughs> Everyone looks amazing. But I know what she's asking, and I hate it. You look great in it. But I like the color of Yukiko's better. I'm sorry. Oh, not at all. You're probably just used to seeing me in one. Yukiko's blushing a little. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? That ain't it. <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after me. Of course, Dojima. They bought me cotton candy. Did they now? All right, then. You want to go over and do the target practice? Uh, I mean, game with me? <laughs> hey, Dojima. You might want to do some target practice on somebody else. Uh -huh. well, let's go. <laughs> Teddy. Um, I'll be honest. Teddy's comment that uh, it deserves some target practice. I'll take care of Nana. Only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. Oh, I appreciate you, Dojima. Hmm. A summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two. So I'm alone. Two by two? See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. about I'm with Teddy I'm down with that come on senpai why wear you kata in the first place so we have memories we can remember fondly right so we should pair off right away racing what a terrifying girl <laughs> I mean yeah she is got a point though good memory it's almost like I've been avoiding her for a reason It's up to us. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? There's four of us, unless I don't exist. Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? Well, me, him, and Kanji makes three. What? You did that on purpose. Uh, should I really do this? Oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. No way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Risei-chan for my partner. Oh, you just want to have a... O-R-G-E. That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this... That's right, Kanji. This is serious business. And you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. But... Okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Teddy, you said it. Okay, count me out. Dude, come on, don't fall for that. Well, no way's out. It's fine. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. 
I just couldn't let that happen. So instead, you're excluding all of us. What? You little. <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide, and this is what we get. I agree. This is one of the few times I've agreed with Rise. I wanted my Yukiko time, okay? Well, let's go then. I'm not getting my Yukiko time, and I'm not happy about it. We fail, huh? Yes, we do, because Teddy decided to take the freaking way. An epic fail. I didn't even get a choice, but it's fine. That seems like it failed miserably. Well deserved, Teddy, because oh my god, I want to make your time. Only a few days left, or only a few days left of summer break. What you go do today? Wow, summer break was very short. Summer break continues. The festival is being held at the shrine today. Hey, as we say. Hey, if you you know that festival is at the shrine going going out today, right? Um, you want to go again with me, just the two of us this time, of course. I want a special memory, just the two of us to share. Come on, let's go. You know what? Sure, screw it. We're going. I know that you want me for a different reason, but we're gonna hang out. Oh, we didn't even get. My boss stars are lined up. From yesterday. It's just the two of us. I kind of wanted you to pick me in front of everyone else yesterday. Yeah, I know. But that's why I couldn't. You were asking for attention. But there were so many of us and Teddy was there, so I knew it was impossible. Yeah, the problem is is Teddy was the problem, let's be honest, Risa. Like you were definitely number two. Um uh, option number two for me. And I know it's rude to say, but Teddy ruined literally the entire moment. Well, it's nice that we get to come here twice then for the memories. Yeah, well, that's why I wanted to come here and hang out with you, Reese. First, we have to make a wish, though it'll be the second time I do it. The second time? What are you going to wish for? Me too. <laughs> I bet we're both thinking of specific things on how to achieve this. I think we are too. One of us is thinking more crazily than the other. I might have bigger, bolder plans than you. You know, at least she knows it and acknowledges it. TV? I get that a lot. Sorry, it's not me. A real idol couldn't walk around in public with a boy like this. Ah, uh, so I got all excited for nothing. Oh well, how about a candied apple then? Won't be a boyfriend, too. <laughs> so people do think you're my boyfriend. What should we do? Want one each? Or do you want to share one? No, that sounds like it'd be really hard to eat. Dang it, I was gonna... I was going to be mischievous for once. For a chance to draw a prize at the tree over there. I get... Okay, this is literally me in real life, though. I literally think of an opportunity, then get turned down when I do my opportunity, and then when I have my opportunity, I just completely miss it. <laughs> what? That sounds fun. Well, then, I want two candied apples. Coming right up. Let's go look at the other stands after we're done eating, Senpai. Sure. A cone in the ashi, huh? When I got one yesterday, it was huge, so I gave most of it to Teddy. Oh, but today you're here. Let's share one for real this time. You don't have very good memories with fish. I used to have guppies in my room before, but I was too busy to take care of them. 
Oh, but I'm sure they'll give us lottery tickets for playing, right? We can always just catch and release. True. All right, then. It's one draw per person. Let me go get it. I wonder what I'll get. I hope I can get something super weird so I can remember. <laughs> I get that, actually. Like, getting something super, super dumb that you're like, oh, I'll remember the day that I got this random thing. You drew one ticket. Wow, amazing. Both of you won. The girl got fourth place. So, a cell phone strap. <laughs> what is this character? It's so ugly. Uh, <laughs> wait, these clothes. <clears throat> My tour costume last year looked like this. Wait, is this... And the boyfriend had sixth place. A book. The Divine Way. Was the written... Was it this written by people at the shrine? <sighs> we saw a lot. Hey, Senpai. Honestly, you had other invitations today, didn't you? Even if you didn't, I'm sure there were girls who were thinking about inviting you. So... Thank you for coming with me today. Of course. Yeah. You partnered with Rise. You parted with Rise and decided to go home. Now it's the 22nd and it's the days are flying by like nobody's business. Summer break has a few days left. What should you do? We haven't bought anything from the channel yet. What do we got? Let's get the Beatles. I don't know. I just feel like the Beatles seem like an interesting thing to grab. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like I messed up hanging out with uh, Yosuke. I mean, yeah, 40,000 yen's a lot. But still. Let's see if Chie is available. I'm thinking Chie. Yugiko would be able to level up too, I think, with us too. Oh, new thing. It's 5,000 yen, but we'll try it. I don't really want the paprikas. Yeah, Chie is somebody on my list of people to hang out with. And then, of course, Aerie. Oh, we can actually level up with you. You know what? <sighs> Freaking sorry, GA. Plans changed. It's fine. Oh, we're hanging out with the shrine. You brought Yukiko here saying she wanted to pay her respects. I come out here every so often. It's nice and quiet. I visit here with a waitress too. Like before a big guest arrives. We make our annual Hatsumoto visits here. The exam charm, the exam charm was here too. Once I leave this town, I won't be able to come here again, will I? You're not coming back? I mean, I couldn't face my parents again. Yukiko looks sad. Oh, Yuki-chan! Oh. Kaisi-san! What are you doing here? Taking a little break from ordering at the, from the liquor store? 
Uh, so, now you know. Oh, I won't tell. Huh, just kidding. Oh, is this your rumored boyfriend? I see the hard work in the kitchen paid off, huh? huh? It's not like that. Wow, your face is burning red. Well, I'll let you two be alone. Sheesh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, that was one of our waitresses. They all have the wrong idea. I'm really sorry. I mean, they're not mistaken. Oh, stop that! That's not the kind of joke that's very, not very funny. You guys seem to be sweating unnaturally. Kasi-san is teaching me how to cook along with the other waitresses and chefs. I said I'd learn on my own, but I kept messing up and burnt a couple of my t uh, burnt myself a couple times. <laughs> Please let us teach you, they said. <laughs> it usually is the other way around, you know. They use up their break time for my lessons, so they're nice to me. When I was halfway successful one time, everyone gathered around and taste tested it, saying how good it was. I didn't know what to say. I was just happy. Plus, I have friends at school, all things considered. I'm pretty lucky. I want to do my best for everyone else's sake. You sense quiet passion and you can go smile. You feel you understand you can go even more. Rank 7, Yukiko. Yukiko can now endure a mortal blow during battle. Your ally will be able to endure one mortal blow during battle. Oh, okay, so I'm trying to leave, betraying those who've been kind to me. I can't help that, I suppose. I mean, you could, but I don't see the reasoning for you to do that. Dojima, we're hanging out tonight. You talk with Dojima about various things. Mm. I'm going to sleep. Uh. Hmm. Oh, it's that late already. Night. Yeah. What? You said you would read me a book before bed. Mm. Uh oh, that's right. I got it, I got it. Just a few pages. Yay! Oh no. Hold on. Dojima here. Ichihara-san. Yes. Yes, then that means... Well, if it's okay with you, I can be there in just a few. I understood. Goodbye. Dad, are you leaving? It's it's my job. But you said you were gonna read me a book. I can do that anytime. This is more important, huh? Of course not. Dojima sighed quietly. Are you two fighting? You can go, Dad. No, that's not it. I'm sorry, Nanako. What book do you want? It's okay. I promised. Come on, let's go, Nanako. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> I would get in so much trouble if I ever did that. If I ever, like, undermined. Ooh. <laughs> Man, she made me read the whole thing. Let's talk. Oh, yep, here's the, here's the I'm getting in trouble part. The phone call was from Ichihara-san, my former senpai. I'm having him run tests on Chiesto's hit-and-run investigation. He was calling me to tell me that the test results are in. Judging by his tone, he didn't find anything the police haven't found already. I know I was going... I know going over there won't change the test results, but Dojima looks severely disheartened. It was a white sedan, most likely large and American. As expected, no such car registered in Inaba. No records of one being repaired and scrapped either. Worst case scenario, the car is out in the country by now. 
it just scares me that I couldn't catch the perp. That I'll never have an outlet for this sick feeling. That I'll just have to swallow it. Every time I look at Nanako, every time I notice she looks like her mother, I feel like my face is being pushed down into reality, and it scares me. <laughs> I never thought I'd be talking to you about this. Dojima confided in you. Yes! Freaking finally! That's what we wanted out of him, and he finally did it. He's, we're, we need to, we're going to talk more. We're going to talk more about this, because you finally did what I wanted you to do. Took all this time. But now I know the part that I needed to know. Thank you. I am surprised I didn't get in trouble. I was, I'm waiting for the, like, silly, now go to your room. But I know I can't stay this way forever. While you're still here, I need to face myself. You sat with Dojima for some time in silence before going to your room. See, this is what we needed. Uh, yay. Uh, that's, I'm, actually, that's really good. Oh, we're getting called. Is it the first day of school today or something? Jordan, is your motorcycle all gassed up? Remember how I mentioned how we should all go to the beach before? Why not go today? I've been looking forward to it. Okay, the last part, no. <laughs> that might be in your future. The last part, no. Oh man, I'm so I should have said no. I'll go ahead and call up the others. See you later. The sky is bright and clear today. A perfect day for an outing. You decide to bring out your scooter. That's amazing. You know, I'm starting to get nervous. Why? We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. Which means you're creepy. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Let's be honest, luck doesn't matter. But... Yes. Ooh. Oh, Teddy. <laughs> you guys are here. You should be in the water. No. Oh, were you waiting for us? Also, no. <laughs> well, one of us was. <laughs> I hate these options. <laughs> I don't like any of these options.
All these options are bad. And none of these I would actually say. God, this sounds such like a dick. But it's the most, like, shelve off your question. Oh, that sounds like a dick, but I'm clicking it. That's totally different. You better not say that to her face, okay? Good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. She didn't hear what I said. That's... Thank Frick. Because, again, I would have just told him to shut up and him do his thing. And I will just live in tranquility and not care. Because I don't care about that kind of stuff at all. So it's fine. Um, can we get going into the water? Yes. Chie chan, Rise chan, and Yuki chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition. I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. Like that it ever happened. Where's Kanji? <laughs> Me. I don't care about any of this. Where's Kanji? Oh, yeah. Kanji was supposed to be wearing, like, a thin suit. Yeah, let's contradict myself in 2.5 seconds. I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here he comes. I love it! Yes! Oh my god! What's what? Yes! My dream has come true! Your swimsuit! What else would I mean? Basic black. What? Dude, I love that you can actually Fuck it, I'm already I'm already in this trap. You can see the imprint and I love it, okay? You didn't, but I did. This is payback for you trying to tell me that, like, to look at the girls. Okay, that's just total payback because now you get to look at Kanji. Stuff like that. Oh, you couldn't even get to see me actually make my facial expressions. I should have gone this way, but whatever. That was sad. You guys missed the, the facial expression showdown. I'm sure you could. <laughs> you probably could tell by my voice what I was talking about, though. Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? <laughs> oh, I almost said that. I almost said that. And I'm glad I shut my mouth. Huh? Why would that happen? What? <laughs> Kanji actually kind of didn't, didn't said what I was going to say myself. So himself. Thank you, Kanji, for saving my life like you always do. Can we can I go with you, Teddy? Go again, synced up. Found a betting machine. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Yes, please. Oh, my string's getting undone. Oh, no. Teddy, oh my god, you cannot leave that bear alone with those girls. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. Teddy, no, Teddy, it's not a malfunction. 
reaction unless you're the if unless it just happens, okay? I, there's somebody that, there's somebody we can have talk about that. But no, you can't purposefully make it happen. That's not a malfunction at that point. The wardrobe was not what malfunctioned. It was you being tedious. God damn it, Teddy. Oh, is he butt naked? I'm down. You listening, Senpai? I'm okay. I am. Time out. Stop. Look down. Down. Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine. <laughs> yes. This is a true wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Skinny dipping's a thing. No, I give up. I give up. Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast. But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins. You deserve it, Teddy. Why don't we take a break? I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break this lake was safe. This is an emergency. <laughs> ah, yes, <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, at least you joked with me a little bit. I appreciate it. You deserve it, Teddy. I don't care. Stay with us, Teddy. All right, Kanji. I found something. That seaweed. Oh, there they are. Senpai. Oh, no, 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 no. They're coming. Just hide it. Well, have fun with that one. You managed to win a bitter battle. Or you so you tell yourself. The sun is starting to set. Itchy busy day. Well, I found you he found a swimsuit. It's still itchy. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You're kinda screwhead, Mr. Kanji. Suit too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? You kind of did. I almost want to send that to somebody so that they can send it to somebody else. Ow, just laying it out there, huh? Everything's fine. Look at that 
big ocean out there and think, man, I keep hanging on to all this embarrassment. Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? I mean, who wouldn't? You hear the girls playing at the beach. Now they get to hang out with Teddy because. Surprise only you would want to play for, Chie Senpai. Okay, that's fair. Good point, Risei. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy. <laughs> Teddy, that's not how that works, but lovely. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Like burying Teddy in the sand. Good times never like last long. You giving him a sand bath? Oh no, my wrist is red. I was so careful to put sunscreen on, too. I wonder if our high school days will end that way too. Probably. With all the doom and gloom, case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? When you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? A little ahead of ourselves, are we? <laughs> are we gonna go on our scooters? You think that might be pushing it? I guess it'd be ridiculous to try to drive our bikes on snowy roads. Nah. Well, so long as we don't do anything reckless. Wow, Kanji, not saying we shouldn't do stuff recklessly. Wow, new man. First. If it seems dangerous. Why not come up with another plan then? Man. I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. <laughs> I just said the same thing in a simpler way. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, you have a point. All right. Now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving, after all. Hey, we're going home! You enjoyed your day swimming in the ocean. It was a memorable day. Oh, yes, it was. It was very memorable. Dojima? Oh, uh, no, no, Dojima. The end of summer break is fast approaching, but Nanako still has some homework left to do. According to her, there's a huge pile of homework. The objective of Nanako's homework is to tighten the bond between family members and by doing homework together. Is it too much for Nanako to finish off by herself? Should you help Nanako with her homework in the next few? Should you? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah we should. Really? Thank you. Um, then I'll start working on spelling practice. Nanako's doing her best to practice her spelling, but she seems she seems to be doing well. But she decided to double check her work anyway. After Nanako finished her spelling, you put her to bed and return to your room. Summer break will be over soon. Seeing Nanako do homework last night got you thinking. You remembered you had homework as well. However. It would only take you a few days to do it. But you promised Nanako that you would help her with her homework every night. Maybe you can do your homework during the daytime. You can start doing your homework today. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to be a goody two-shoes. We're going to do our homework. I'm scared of the consequences of not doing our homework. Well, <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm scared of those consequences. Knowledge, knowledge. You feel like you understand it, but not well enough. Your knowledge has increased again. Ooh, we got a knowledge rank boost. That actually helped us a lot. Since you have expert study methods, you're able to study more efficiently. Four points of knowledge in one session. Okie dokie then. And then we hang out with Nanako tonight. Um, I know this one. It's um, a Rolling Stones gathers no moss. Dad always tells me that one. Oh, we're talking about idioms. Oh, who can that be? Is it? It's Yosuke and Teddy came by. Ooh. We had a little event going on at Junes today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nadiko Chan. Oh, you're doing your summer homework. I feel sorry for you. All right, I'll help Nana Chan. Oh, Proverbs. Oh, um. Uh, oh, I have one. Corpito Erosom. 
Why did you pick that up? Don't cast pearls before swine is more like something you'd say. Yosuke and Teddy helped Nadego finish her homework. You became closer to everyone. You feel like your relationship with Yosuke will become closer soon. And Nadeko's been ready for a long time, but you don't have the stupid boost for her. That's been the most frustrating part, is not having the freaking ability to uh, hang out with Nanako. Knowledge increased one. The homework is mostly reveal problems. You feel like you have a better understanding of the material. Number two. You feel you understand it, but still not well enough. Knowledge number three. Uh, expert study about net and it's knowledge number four. Wow, four pieces again, another four pieces of knowledge. That's and then we're getting freaking we got boosts for Yosuke. I do write an essay about something I remember. Uh, someone here today, too. Chia Yunikiko came by the ladies. I heard from Yosuke and Nanako chan is doing your homework, so I'm here to help you. Writing an essay, have you decided on topic, Nanako chan? Not yet. Huh, let's see. How about the time we went to the festival together? That's right! The Ikiyaki was so good! I had so much fun! Nanika begins writing her essay. Chie and Yukiko help Nanika with her essay. We became closer with everybody. Chie and Yukiko will become closer soon. So here's... After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye to Chie and Yukiko, you went to your room. Summer break will be over, but you still have homework. Oh, hello? Hi, Chie. It's supposed to be ready tomorrow. What do I work tomorrow? Yeah. It's Chie. We have to hang out with her. <sighs> Social link up. We, we. Um. I really hope I didn't make a mistake. Hi, Chie. I. Uh... Mm, the meat and rice flow through my veins. Looks delicious. <laughs> I can't remember the, recommend the steak bowl enough. The sauce is to die for. A huge smile spread over Chie's face. I need to work hard and pump myself up, or else I can pull us out of this jam, right? Especially Yukiko. I need to be able to protect her. I hope she's not straining herself, making you worry, huh? Yukiko isn't that weak, actually. You think? Chie doesn't seem fully convinced. I'll make myself stronger for Yukiko, too. Keep it up, leader. I know me and Yuxi joke around with you a lot, but we're all counting on you. You see, sense Chie's burning passion. So Chie's gonna be level 5 with us now? Yeah. Chie can now clear ailments. Oh, that was one thing I was missing in the fight. Chie, when I, okay, so initially I tried to bring Chie, and it was making me mad because Chie was missing things and doing things, and I'm like, God, Chie, why aren't you being helpful? It was my own fault, not Chie's. See you later. Nanako puts effort into her book report. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, and I, but I feel sad for him. Uh, big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? I'll be honest, it kind of depends. I like being alone. It's a, it's a good thing for me, but I can't do it all the time, so it depends. I see. Maybe I should write about you too. Yeah, now that it's raining, we'll do our homework. We get our four knowledge boosts. That's a we're getting a lot of knowledge really quickly, which is really nice. Is this her, is this is I'm doing my art homework today. 
I made something out of stuff I found in the house. A milk carton, a paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? Risei and Kanji came by. Senpai said that Nanako Chan was doing her summer homework, so you should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. I can't do any of this art stuff. Me neither. Oh, huh, let me see what you got. Oh, Kanji's gonna help with the art! Kanji carefully crafted something with incredible detail and created something that no elementary student could have made. You became closer to everyone. You feel like your relationship with Kanji can become closer and Risei can become closer and Nanako has already been able to become closer. <sighs> After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye, you went to your room. Do we have more homework? Summer will go over here soon. There's some homework left. What is there to do to... Oh, God. There's still homework. Hello, it's Risei. I got a pass, Risei. I got homework. I mean, hey, at least they end up starting, like, the 30th. Thief Dagger and Longevity Pills or Hell Matanama and Arc Magatamas. The Dagger Combo. I really want to collect a lot of the weapons in this game because I feel like I can help with like prepping and stuff. So like obviously I know that I'm not going to beat a lot of this is bosses and stuff first try because of course it's uh, I'm a new with the game so that makes sense to why I wouldn't beat them oh I think I didn't do all my homework I know there's a picture on it. The dad shirt, the one I bought. It's called a platypus. I write about platypuses. The platypus lay eggs. They have a poisonous claws. Question. Is the male or female platypus the one that has the poisonous claws? Um... Oh, no. I think it's actually the female ones, because the one they're protecting their eggs. But I'm probably wrong. Present wrong. I'm surprised there's something you don't know, big bro. Damn. Not she proved me wrong. It's the male ones then. Actually, I'm looking this up right now just to see. Come on. Which gender of platypus has poisonous claws? According to science, Male. Male. All your homework has been completed. Cool. We got it just in time. <laughs> Big bro and dad. Um, let's see. August 27th. Ah, uh, I don't remember the weather. Um, big bro, did it rain that the day we worked on my art homework? It was raining all day. Was it? Huh. Nautica seems puzzled. Big Bro and his friends helped me a lot with my homework. So, they were so nice. I like him so much. No, don't look. We keep getting things wrong. This is bad. I'm not paying attention to the thing at this point. I'm like, oh yeah, I was like, this was happening. I was definitely 100% ready for this.
Unfortunately, Risa. No, you don't. You and me together. Risei's a little embarrassed. Okay. Big bro, are you there? I'm gonna play at Monachan's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Awesome. You wonder if Nanako knows about the fireworks festival. You tell Nanako you're going to the fireworks festival with your friends. Dad said he'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night. So I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. I'm glad to hear that. Uh -huh. I'll go with Dad, so we'll see you there. You decided to leave Nanako and Dojima to go to the fireworks festival with your friends. Your friends arrive at the hill overlooking the town. You found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. Ha ha ha! Teddy deserved that. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Yes. Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, Yosuke-senpai? I'm with Yosuke. When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Jeez, that would kill him. What happened, anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? <gasps> no! No! Teddy brought porn magazines to family breakfast. Oh, no! Oh, poor Yosuke. Poor Yosuke, oh my. God. I I don't feel that at a bit as big of a level, but I can understand how like oh oh no oh no Yosuke. Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. I also agree with Chie. <laughs> it is his fault for having it. But Teddy thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around that's also true huh? is he not talking about his secret savings oh uh, you could call you innocent little one secret savings for a guy right let's just leave him be Tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's okay. That's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. <laughs> Quick reopening <laughs> this morning's wounds. Oh my god. I'm happy for you. Yep. Nariko seems very happy. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured Adachi could handle the rest. I would agree with that. Hey there, little lady. <sighs> Want to launch 
some fireworks of love with me? Slap him, Dojima. Slap him, Dojima. Slap him, Dojima. Please. How do you do that? Well. Slap him, Dojima. Cut it out, Teddy. Do you want Kojima san to haul you in? Please. Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Hey, we got approval. If you enjoy the fireworks festival, Dojima approved of us, which is like a big thing. Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? You were all munching on snacks too. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, but it's GA leave her alone. Did you have fun, Monaco chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sweet honey. <laughs> yeah, we should get you to bed. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late, huh? Okay. Bye-bye, Nana-chan. Bye-bye. Bye, Nanako-chan. Bye, Dojima. The fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. That's because it is. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm all right with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer, so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant. I was expecting something more, more bittersweet and stuff. You just wanted to hook up and you got prevented. Serves you right. Right? We take the long view too much when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, because I don't... Yeah, literally, yes. Are you going to throw away the only summer you'll ever get as a second year just because it's a little less annoying? Yes. Oh, hey, that's mean. You make it sound like we're annoying. Annoying? Am I really? Oh, sheesh. Yukiko's freakout switch just kicked in. Yeah, Yosuke, you little... Oh. It's your fault for being so insane. At least Chie knows that it's Yosuke's fault. Huh, yeah. This kind of thing really doesn't come up with guys. <laughs> <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Isn't the that pot calling the candle the black. What kid are you talking about? Oh, Utah. Uh, so oh, we should have. Wait. I'm thinking I'm at a completely different line. Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know... 
I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept, even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Joster, you really do only think about girls, huh? <laughs> oh my god, he called him out again. Shut up, you don't have to say it twice. <laughs> you ate a light dinner with the others and headed home. Oh, he finally came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. Oh. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. <gasps> He's even accepting of the group. Oh my god. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm going to call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Luckily, everyone was able to come over. Nanako may have been a factor in their discussion d decision as well. <laughs> of course, they were. Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Are we seriously going to do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I want to do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the <laughs> essence of youth. No sense at all. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking too. Hey, dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of you. I'm home. <laughs> That's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? <laughs> a lot. Welcome home. <laughs> Let's split the watermelon open. Say uh, what? <laughs> well. <laughs> the watermelon was already cut and shared with the neighbors. Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Smack him. Oh, there probably aren't enough days. Bonk. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year, too? Of course we will. You betcha. You betcha. Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep. Thank you. Fun, fun. The fun time slowly passes by. I just wish I could rank up with everyone right then and there. Eventually, everybody had to go. Nanako has gotten tired too, so she's completely asleep in her room. Thanks for everything today. Of course. It's been a while since I last saw Nanako in high spirits like that. case is finally solved. And now for all the... Ah, <laughs> uh, never mind. Save it for some other time. You know, we really made some great friends. <sighs> We're finally getting an acknowledgement. Like, this is what we've been, again, more things that we've been waiting for. 
just knowing that we're kind of doing the right thing. And even though he was like dead set on freaking out on Kanji, he realized Kanji was not a bad person after all, which is what we want to hope him for. Today is the first day of the second term. We should try to hurry to school. Oh. Morning. Morning, Chie. Good morning. Morning, Yukiko. Uh, summer vacation's over already. Yo, guys. I got lost on my way here. Vacation was pretty long. Not that long. Sheesh. No, I felt really long, to be honest. It really did. Like, oh, hi. Good morning. Hi, Naoto. You? You're that, uh, pint sized detective. Slap. I beg your pardon? My name is Naoto. Please don't give people bizarre nicknames you make up on the spot. Uh, greed. Um, you know this is a high school, right? My cooperation with the police has come to an end. However, there are aspects of the case with which I remain unconvinced. There are some family-related issues as well, so I've decided to stay here for the present. From today forth, I'll be a first year at your high school. And I thought that I should at least introduce myself to you all. I trust our relations will be cordial somehow. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Senpai. That detective boy's our underclassman? Interesting. I would not have guessed at all. Does that mean that he's that mean he's Reise is underclassman too? And uh Kanji. Cause So they got the guy over summer break. I'm so glad to know that he was a student I once taught. You gotta watch for the unjustified resentment. Guys, I'm sure you know what you, I mean. You watch all the gossip shows. You never know who has a grudge against you. My advice, train your body regularly so you can fight back. You need to exercise and meat to train your body. Young people eat meat. All right, now a sudden question about the meat. Hey, Morimoto, venison is a meat from what animal? It is deer, that one I do know. Bruh. It comes from Venor, meaning to hunt, and nowadays people really use it to refer to deer meat. I got tricked. <sighs> Speaking of outdoor experiences, the school trip is next week. Hope you get a chance to eat some yummy meat. Okay, I mean, at least they they recommend they're careful not to eat anything that has that has to hide behind a code name, though. Haha. <laughs> the answer was incorrect. I mean, hair is what I think, though. I'm okay with that answer being incorrect because literally. I've only had venison been become deer meat, and that's because I've only hunted deer, so. Man, school's as dull as ever. With the case closed, the days feel so empty all of a sudden. Come on, Yosuke, everything went back to normal. It's a good thing. I didn't mean it that way, it's just... Hey, we're stopping by Juness later, right? Why don't we ask Naoto-kun to join us? Sure. Oh, well, I just thought... Since he doesn't know anyone yet, he must feel lonely. Didn't he say he came here to help out with the murder case? With the case closed, he's just an ordinary guy now. And if you think about it, that makes him a transfer student, just like us. Hello, senpai. Hey, Rise. Maybe he transferred here out of plain stubbornness, because he doesn't seem like he's only in it for fun. All right, let's see if he wants to hang out with us. A celebrity coming to school is already a surprise, but a detective is even rarer. I'm a little curious to see what his family's like, too. 
There's that and the fact that he's a detective at his age. Oh, speak of the devil. There's the little guy. Okay, can we not call him the little guy, Yosuke? You don't know the area yet, right? Come on, who will show you around? There's probably tons of places to hang out that only we'd know about. That won't be necessary. I'm not interested in hanging out, and neither am I interested in you two. Huh? Hey, what did you say? Dang! <laughs> Shut them down. What's with that attitude? We're just trying to be friendly. Jeez, way to make an impression. Yo, Naoto-kun. How's it going? Oh, um... Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, well, we'll be going now. They're like, upperclassmen, bye! Typical freshman. <laughs> We're gonna run now! We don't want to be next to juniors and yeah. seniors and... May I help you? Other freshmen. Come with... you mean me? Perhaps another time. I have some things to mull over. Things to mull over? I must go straight home today. I promised my grandpa so. Grandpa? Oh well. That's that then. Let's hang out some other time. Man, did you see Naoto's attitude? He sure blew his debut at school. Is he gonna be okay at Yasugami? He is different. He has this mysterious air around him that draws her attention. Whoa, Yukiko, I never knew. You like younger guys? No, that's not what I meant. Mm. Naoto-kun said he has things to mull over, but he's gotta be talking about the murder case. He's some ace detective, right? I bet he's not satisfied, even though the case is closed. That's true, but... Hmm. This place isn't our special headquarters anymore. Uh, let's talk about something else. Isn't the class trip coming up soon? Um, where are we going? Tatsumi Port Island. I heard it's an artificial island that faces the ocean. It's a pretty big city. Huh? Port Island? I did tons of shoots there. It's just beyond the Moonlight Bridge, yeah? Should be lots of places to hang out there. Uh, actually, we may not have any time to goof off during this trip. I heard the school board is changing the trip schedule this year. The idea is we're gonna visit a private school there, like to have local and urban students interact or something. It'll be all about studying and serious business. Yeah. Ugh, they're totally missing the point of a class trip. What kind of place is this private school? I heard it's really good. They have nice buildings and everything. But it's closed on the day we're going there, so they're going the extra mile to make this work. They want us to tour some factories on the second day, and then we're coming back on the third day. That's no different from a social studies field trip. Oh, I didn't want to know that. Can't expect much from a school-sponsored trip, I guess. Well, we'll be around, so if it starts to drag, we can ditch. I'll show you guys around. <laughs> but we're in different years. Oh, didn't you know? The excursions will be like the campout. They're going to combine the first and second years. Since student enrollment is down and they're low on funds, They've cut the excursion back to once every two years. Well, at least we won't be bored with you around, senpai. Gosh, I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Port Island and I wasn't working. <laughs> this will be great. I wish I could be that positive about it. Doesn't this seem like a pain in the ass to anyone else? Some people were against the proposition, but it's been decided. Oh, and guess whose idea it was? King moron. Just the kind of thing he'd come up with. No, King Moron! 
Why must you torture me? <laughs> no, King Moron! You don't even know who that is. <laughs> yeah, Daddy, you can just not. Hey, tell me more about this trip. Where is Fort Island? What's there? You don't need to know, Daddy. How about that? Get back to work, will ya? Well, even though the class trip is coming up, it's still a ways away. What should I do until then? Well, it's not like we got much to do here in the first place. Man is just an animal trying to figure out how to kill time through his brain. Huh. You made that sound like you were being philosophical. Yet it made absolutely no sense. Ooh. Sorry. Uh, we got dodge my time, dodge my time, dodge my time. No. Knife dagger or thief dagger, not a knife dagger. We can work as as the hospital janitor there. Which is actually something I'm debating on doing, but like Nautico though. Well, now that school's in session, we can get expression from, uh... Good idea. School's in session, so we can get, um, the positives and boosts from hanging out with Ananye, which... Ananye is back on the radar now, which is nice. It's a big positive for us. Oh, hi, Adachi. Nurse is tomorrow. Adachi's today. Oh, it's you. Great. A student who parties at night. Ugh, I'm so exhausted from work. I had to talk to that old lady again. I'm hungry. Daji doesn't seem to have eaten dinner yet. Yes. Huh? huh? What? Uh, oh, I guess we talked about that the other day. Um, yeah, why not? I hear you're quite the cook. The potatoes are still hard. Today, we're having shoe. Shoe? Oh, he means stew? Yeah, shoes. Stew. Hey, you did it. <laughs> Do you like stew, Adachi-san? Hmm, yeah, kind of. Kind of? I mean, yeah, I do like it. It's been a while since I've had some. So, do you cook, like, this all the time? I bet Dojima-san tells you all the time what a great help you are. Yeah, he does. Really? Really? He doesn't seem like the type to come out and say it. Dachi shrugs. So, I heard you were moving back in the spring. I bet Dojima-san's going to cry. Nanako's looking down sadly. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's still a long way away. Yeah... Um, hey, Nanako, have you ever seen this trick? Na Adachi produced a 500 yen coin. Now watch it closely. Adachi clutches the 500 yen coin. You watch in? The 500 yen coin disappeared. Oh. What? How? Why? Again? Do it again? Nah, this time I'll show you even better one. Look at your big bro's pocket. The 500 yen coin was in your pocket. Oh. Wow, you're the best, Adachi-san! You like magic tricks? <laughs> Not particular, Haley. I'm just good with my hands. Stuff like that comes easy to me. Adachi seems relieved that Nanako is smiling again. Maybe I should have been a magician. Then I would be such a... Uh, uh well... I guess there's no job like the government job. It's not like I can make a living working with my hands. The Dachi shrubs. I mean, there's, there's, there's a couple jobs you can do that do that, but I'm not going to discuss those. I feel like you know Dachi a bit more. We ranked up with Adachi and are now rank four with Adachi. Your power to create gestures have grown. 
That's a melon pretty good. I think that shoe's about ready. It's stew! Shiatsu? Shoo! Wrong. No, I said it right. The three of you spent a fun evening together. Well, I'm glad. You ever hear students talking? I feel so tired coming to school. So sleepy. I can't believe I was early for class every single morning until just about a month ago. You're so lucky compared to me. I've been studying for my entrance exams all summer. By the way, I am so relieved that they caught a guy behind those murders. I was surprised it turned out to be a student. I've been so many shows interviewing the police by now. I'm so sick of it. After school. Have incidents finally been resolved? You only hope some tragedies will be repeated. Well, we have this girl who wants the charmed veil and is going to give us chess keys for it. And we're going to save. Hopefully, y'all had a wonderful day. Uh, I had a wonderful day myself. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.